Yesterday, we brought the news that the new Venom trailer had dropped, and some people, like me and Dave, were completely normal about it. Other people, however... Hello, nurse! Oh my god. What wouldn't I do to ride Eddie's Brock hard? No, nope, please stop. No, nope. I'm Chris Carr. And I want Venom to lick every single place listed in that one Kia song. And this is Thirstwire! It's really not. It's Nerdwire. My neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. <laughs> What do you get when you mix Tom Hardy with Gene Simmons in every lesbian porn video I've watched in the last 20 years? The new Venom trailer! Why doesn't Nerdwire have an HR manager? Because then I wouldn't be allowed to work here, duh. <laughs> and that would be a bad thing? If I wasn't here, you'd have to read all these Venom thirst tweets by yourself. No, they would maybe let me do stuff I'm actually interested in. No, I'm kidding. They wouldn't let me do that. <laughs> Anyways, who else wants to treat Venom to a little box lunch? That's just... Nope. I mean, damn ladies, who doesn't want Tom Hardy to go clam jousting in their trousers? But Tom Hardy with an extra long tongue that just lazily unfolds. Ready to locate your swollen bean and probe the folds of it fiendishly till you come about infinity times. Baby, that isn't a crime. You can't just use Watsky to solve your sexual deviances, wit. Tetraphilia is a weird fetish. Next thing you know, you're gonna want bees from Beauty and the Beast to Oh God, yeah, you already made that video. Listen, I needed to be a little bit more open-minded. Like the kind citizens over here at Tumblr. Just look at all these thirst posts! It takes a very special person to see why having Eddie Brock's evil alter ego slurp your furry coconut would ever be sexually exciting. I don't see how you can't look at that monster and ask, hey baby, what'd that mouth do? He can get all up in there and stroke the Ghibli bits at the same time. He looks like he took a bubble bath in the La Brea Tar Pits. <laughs> Daddy. But some of these disgusting excuses for human beings do have a point. Twitter user I Like Comics 2 pointed out that Venom Thirst has been canon for years. The evidence from New Avengers Annual Volume 1, number 3, is hard to argue with. I am both completely terrified and totally aroused. Are my nipples hard? Ew. At Can Draw Can Draw totally called it. Back in February she tweeted, I haven't seen the Venom trailer yet, but unless it features Tom Hardy transforming into a fucking tongue demon, I'm not interested. Well, guess what? Okay, enough. No, I'm sorry, Wit, we are putting you back on Tinder. You've been single for way too long. I just don't want your peach munched by an alien symbiote goo monster. You can catch a tongue when evs. You don't need those shark teeth near your downstairs. Friends don't let friends be eaten out by symbiotes. Fine. I guess the teeth are pretty scary. It would be kind of like watching Prada 3D with your vagina instead of your eyeballs. Exactly. Just find a normal tongue person. Do you know how hard it is to find someone who can actually give a good velvet buzz saw in Los Angeles? Yeah, I imported mine from Nebraska. God, I love not being single. Do you want Venom to go mumbling in your moss? Or did you learn how to work your showerhead nozzle like a normal person in the seventh grade? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to tweet us all your Venom thirst thoughts at Nerdwire HQ. Those are going to be horrifying. They are. It's going to be so I crazy. cannot wait. We're completely normal about it. Other people, however. Oh God. <laughs> what wouldn't I do to ride Eddie's bra card? Sorry, can we start over? Yeah, 100%. I'm it's just like, rubbing my nipples. What is happening? <laughs>